Okay. So, what is going on today? What have you been doing? How's my hair? I don't know why you always prepping over hey, that hair. Am I gorgeous? People, yeah. People want to know. Nobody wants to know. Hey kids, welcome back. David from Atomic Candy and the glorious Miss Lady Pop Hunter. And we have been out toy hunting, if you will, in, in and around the Atlanta area once again. Mm -hmm. And also, we found that missing book nook footage. It reemerged in the computer somehow. And mm -hmm. I was like, where did that come from? But we got it. So... So uh, some of you were asking about that from last time because I had part of the footage and then it just disappeared, it dropped <laughs> off, and I had to put a little notice on there. Sorry, something happened, but it's back, so you'll get to see the book note this time, as well as a few other places that we visited, visited, enunciate, mm -hmm. including Galaxy Comics. Oh, shout out to Christian! Hi, Christian. Hey, Christian. Who's a uh, a subscriber to the channel that I ran into at Galaxy Comics mm -hmm. who watches our show. Yeah. Big Masters of the Universe fan. So hello Christian. How hey, you doing? Christian. So let's go ahead, come on along with us and take a look at the places we visited and then we'll come back and show you what we picked up. Let's take a look at the book nook. The book nook. Comics, toys, and Vintage books. Record in here, and it makes. They got comics, and they got some toys on a card, and they got a lot of new stuff, it looks like. Yeah. Cards bent though, but yeah. they do have a lot of action figures and stuff mixed in, and they trade too, so yeah. you can bring in stuff and trade with them, and they'll catch you a deal. It's always that. Yeah, you always got that to your advantage. Mm hmm This is their comic book section. And then they got some toys. They are way more than this, but I'm just back in this section. Again, I didn't even ask if I can record. I never do. Most times, people don't care. This is a drawing. Well, it's kind of advertising, you know? Yeah. So. Graphic novels. Oh, Captain America. This is where you ought to be looking for the Ninja Turtle uh, graphic novels. Yeah, I got a few of them. I overpaid at <laughs> one store. I don't know what I was doing. Wow. I totally overpaid. There you go. Look at that. See, I want <clears throat> the Ninja Turtle to in one big book like that. Yeah, like this. This is how it should yeah. be. But yeah, it looks like they got literally everything. So if y'all need tomes, graphic novels, complete comics, this looks like the place to go. You know who would love that? Who? Cool. Johnny from MIB Master Museum. Oh. Uh, it's the reprinting of all the creepy magazines. So he's got the whole set up there. Oh, wow. Yeah. You're watching, Johnny? You'd love these. I know. <laughs> and the vampire. Oh, then he got this because he likes this air, eerie, eerie thing. Yeah. Those old uh, 70s horror uh, comics. I think he does this dynamite. It seems like I saw Not that dynamite, word. But vampirella. Oh, vampirella. Uh, yeah. LJ the Geek, I think he does that too. Yeah, yeah, I think yeah. I saw some posters. Yeah, I know he does comics. Of uh, that L, uh, Van Verilla. So. And there's a bunch of anime behind us, too. Of course, they got The Walking Dead. Manga. 
I don't read comic books, so it's I don't really care for it. It's okay. But I mean, you know, I appreciate it. But it's not just it's just not my thing. These are their war and nonfiction, and they have some GI Joes. Yeah, they got a bunch from the model from the '90s collection. Yeah, they got a ton of them up here. Looking like twenty-four dollars on a few of them. Um, they do have it if you're interested. And then they have these ships. I don't know. I guess they're model kits. I don't know what that is. Yeah, those models. Rebel. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the GI Joe's don't look bad. Uh, $19 on that one. I can see the price. On to the... Whoa. Yeah, what just that? Then this is an accessory Ultimate pack. Soldier accessory packs. They mm -hmm. have some of those on the other side too. The winner Ultimate Soldier Target exclusive. <laughs> some comic awesome. books. More comics. Then they got dolls in the back. The play arts. Uh... Mm -hmm. That looks cool. Is that poison ivy? Oh, yeah. it is poison yeah. ivy. Then Batman, forty bucks. That's um in the likeness almost a NECA where you got the open flap. Yeah. In that regard. Little T. Got some model kits. A lot going on here. Yeah. Ah, oh, look at the Joker. These remote control vehicles up there. Yeah. Castle Grayskull. So That's from the 200X. 200X. Yep. Series. Light up eye, uh, light up features. Some Star Wars, Walking Dead glass set. And a giant Homer. Hundred and fifty dollars for that thing. Yeah. Well, oh, they got it looks two like it's them. sealed, so. Fifty bucks. Oh, um, Star Trek uh, planes. Mm-hmm. V from the TV show. Problem with these, I've seen these a lot. Oh, it's torn. They're, they're almost always shattered here because this is like paper thin cellophane. LGN. It turns yellow a lot too. Mm-hmm. Like a rocket. Yep. Another target. Another target. Here we are. And there is a ad icon. And it is damaged. Yay! And it's the only one. <laughs> Haven't ever been able to really find any here. Look at that one. Looks like that's going to be it. Yeah. Oh well. It figures. Ninetieth anniversary, Mickey. Is it mystery minis? Yep. This is where you'll find them, and with the little kid toys. Next to the imagined one scene. Yeah. Jake the Snake. That's a different Jake the Snake. Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, I've seen it. 
You seen this one? I saw it yesterday. And George the animal. Oh, he goes with that George and Roddy that you have. Yeah. So he's the third one in that set. You weren't interested in that one? I don't know. 19 bucks. And why do they have the DC multiverse mixed in with the wrestlers? Oh, it's Target. Yeah, because it's Target. I know, huh? And my bazookas is always all beat up, but I'm okay because I'm going to put it in a pot protector. Yeah. And it'll be alright because, and like I said, I only get it if I see it, but I'm not going to go dragging it down. And they actually had it. They only had, because it's all beat up. Yeah, only because of that. And then, you know, the woman whose voice you heard back there. The employee. Yeah, the employee. And mm, she was like, yeah. Oh. Well, I don't know if we have any more. I don't think so. We get them. They go pretty quick. Yeah, she knows. She knew exactly what it was. Oh, you got the last Bazooka Joe. Yeah. Then her, tune, then her tune changes when I ask her for any additional Hello? information. <laughs> Somebody trying to get to <laughs> Those are new. It's tagged wrong, but yeah. It says Black Panther. Just hang stuff anywhere, Target. Yeah. Nobody cares. Barnes and Noble. Look at this one. Still hanging around. Mm -hmm. I tell you. Um, Who? Stranger Things. Yeah. Still From hanging around. Comic -Con. Yep. A bunch of them. And this. I saw that one. Those have been here forever. Those trains. It's their rock candy. <sighs> That's neat. <laughs> Curly fries. Mm, yummy, yummy. Yeah. Those aren't cheap either, that those pillows and stuff. Yep. You have that. Do I? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And then there's these. Oh, those are nice. We saw those somewhere. Book nook. Oh yeah. Had a ton of them. The uh, Tamashi Nation Star Wars ninjas, and then the figure arts Ninja Turtles. That'll never sell. <laughs> figure arts Batman. This is where you're gonna go to to find some of this stuff now that Toys R Us is gone. Hardly anyone else carries it. Well, GameStop is starting to. What did you find? The Tom and Jerry box. They got them in the box. It's a case that she's digging through that hasn't gone on the display yet. It's got some mixed stuff in it. Mr. Rogers. Yeah. And then the Black Panther. Should look for the chases. You won't find any. <laughs> look at that one is still hanging around. We just had the Tom. I don't see no Jerry. No Jerry? A couple no. of Toms. Mm. Did you pre order that from somewhere? Yeah. Set it up <laughs> She's put it on the display. Yeah. There's two less they gotta do. Yeah. Nothing else spectacular in there. Not that I can see. Yeah, it doesn't look like it. Somebody's working on it. Yep. They got the Deadpool, Wizard Deadpool. Yeah. Alice Cooper. Oh well. There's a bunch back there too. Yeah. This is their audio visual department. 
They always have like a pop display back here now. She's gonna go behind the counter and dig through things. That's what you call dedication. <laughs> Maybe you should go through the cabinets too. No. That's probably where the chases are. I know. <laughs> oh yeah, they got the three packs and the vinyls. They're back here. Still a lot of these, a lot of these floating around yeah, that in different star. locations. Yeah. Either they made a lot, or it's not as big a thing as they thought it was going to be. Probably just didn't catch on because I think people are just really into the pop. So yeah, all of the new stuff is just not picking up. It's like a mystery mini that you can see basically. I think they were trying to compete <clears throat> with uh, loyal subjects, uh, you know, and their high end mystery minis. Oh man, 50 bucks for this. For a pillow. $30. Absolutely incredible. This one's 52. $50. No wonder they sit here and sit here. There's the new classic Pennywise. I think LPH would like this. Maybe I'll get it for her. And you got this? Yep, that's, you, you, you have that one. Yeah, I know, I'm just showing. Oh, they got a bunch in there. Too. Yeah, they're starting to step that up here. Filling the void from, uh, filling the void from Toys R Us. Mm -hmm. Look at the, uh, the bat. Half price on the bat. People keep telling me I should have one hanging behind us. <laughs> I've had a couple of comments say that that I should get one and put it behind us in the on the wall. Clearance section. This is the only one here. This is cool. No, from Digimon, yeah. I got two of them. Of course it is. What, you're getting it? Dragon Ball. Why can't these be on clearance? I always wanted a set of these. I just didn't want to jump off into another series. <laughs> you know how it is. This looks kind of like the mushroom from Fantasia. <laughs> oh. oh my god. You actually oh, found him. Now I do not have to come back <sighs> yeah. to Target. And again, again, third Target we've been to. It's the only ad icon here because yeah. I'm not seeing anything else. This is all I wanted to. That, that's, that was the main one she was looking for. How's the box look? box is in pristine shape. It's in good enough shape for me. Yeah. So, but it's in good shape. And dig is still spelled wrong. Yeah. <laughs> well, good. I'm happy for you. That's something. Yeah. Still, I mean, all it's right. amazing that you can run all over the place. Ooh. You think that's damaged? And they only have one and one and one. Look at this one. Ooh, that's all crushed. They look like a return. What do you think? Okay. What do you think, Maybe folks? Yeah, we can look around. Yeah. You never know. This would be a cool show. That's where they should be. <laughs> I mean, just for in your house. Cause look, oh, I see. Oh, that's kind of deep. It's a little bit deep. Yeah. That would be good for uh, action yeah. figures, though, because it's got the angle. It yeah. slopes down slightly. They don't have one. I was going to put it on there. It's really show. for books, though, I think, that show. Yeah. Books or DVDs. Yes. But still, I like the peg ones. Yeah. All right, let's look around. Yeah, let's go look at the I can't believe I action figures. This. I can't believe you did either. Thought oh, you'd never get that. I know. Right. This is all I wanted. Oh, I'm happy you're happy. Mm -hmm. Pokemon. Marvel Legends, Harry Potter. Mm -hmm. And I've been seeing these, and they got the new, like, hey, Legends sets. That. that doesn't look bad. 65 bucks, though. I like this. I like this. See what I mean? Packaging. Yeah. Yeah. 
But that's I like nice. This. I like this packaging. If it was something I wanted, I would get that. But I mean, I'm not at, six, sure. at sixty-five for oh, that, for me, it just seems kind of outrageous. This yeah, is they, Star Wars, though. They do. That is a mixed bag. Yeah. There's another one that's been beat to death. Brock Lesnar, Roman Reigns. Lord Steven Reaver. Yeah, Sasha that's Bain. an older character. Then they got these, these X, whatever. Series. Mm -hmm. But they got the whole thing of this. Yeah, the whole thing is he there. He has green tongue and a little animal. Yeah, he's one of my one of my favorites from the classics series. Yeah, I got that whole His matches now. with Randy Savage are outrageous. Mm -hmm. Then Diesel, he's from... I don't know him. He's a new guy. I don't want this. That's Kevin Nash. Before he was Kevin Nash. Oh, really? I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, it's got it here on the back. Oh, what does it what say? Look at this. More pops. They're all over the store. Oh, yeah. Kevin Nash. Yeah, I thought so. Before, oh, okay. before he just started using the Kevin Nash name. Yeah, because it says he started out as the best friend and bodyguard of Shawn Michaels. Yeah, that sounds familiar. And then I guess when he he made his debut as Kevin Nash. Oh, okay. Now I know the name Diesel just didn't connect. Yeah. Oh, okay. Makes sense. Yeah, now he does. <laughs> you don't want that one? Yeah, we complete the set. If you're going to get one, yeah, pick the best one. Okay. So, what is going on today? What have you been doing? How's my hair? I don't know why you always prepping over yeah, that my, hair. My gorgeous. People, yeah. People want to know. Nobody wants to know. You need to show them why you're brushing your hair. That's the sight to see. Oh, yeah. Just, you know, a little Fonzie move. Because Fonzie and I, we have something in common. You want to watch the spine while I check my hair? Yeah, we like the spines, but we got to get home. We're yeah. both cool, and we both, we both have that, that snap. You, know, you snap your fingers, and things happen. Two boxes turn on, women throw themselves at you. It's hard to explain. It's a vibe. What have you been doing today? <laughs> well, we're having our little <laughs> tea and fries moment at McDonald's, like we do sometimes, to sit and chat, hang out, and basically been running around doing some uh, toy hunting. That's somewhat, most of it's yours, really all of it is yours. <laughs> That's how things go. Uh, well, you haven't really been looking for anything. I guess. But I just wanted to go to Walgreens and um, Looking for the, the horror collection, um, Nightmare Before Christmas, and the Jason Voorhees with the bag on his head. Which they don't have. Well, we went, well, we went to two, um, yeah. and they did not have it. And then we rolled around to a couple of other places, and they actually had a little luck. Wrestling figures. Yeah. And so, yeah, and we found. Two ad icons from Target. Yeah, in two different Target. <laughs> which was a shock. But the one that I really, really wanted was the the vinyl two pack. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. It grew on me. Um, so I have that, and and I didn't. I don't want anything else from that line. I didn't before, but because they were there, they were readily available. I got them. Um, so I'm fine with not yeah, having them. Yeah. Get roped. Yeah, but I mean, you can always have them. I don't really care because you know, it's like I, I like them, but I'm just so frustrated. And you know who who else too? Uh, Black Knight Seven Ten. His story our, our, was our, sad. Our buddy Black Knight Seven Ten. He had a, a horror story with uh, Target and ad icons that he was going on about. Instagram. I don't blame my feelings. If I had an extra set, I would send it to him. Yeah, I would awesome. send him the ones I have, but honestly, the boxes are kind of beat up. Yeah. So I would never send it to him with a damaged box. Um, 
But if the box wasn't damaged, I'll give it to him because I honestly kind of don't care. And like I said, I know you don't want it because the box is messed up. The Captain for Crunch me, is bad. Yeah. For it's, me, a damaged box one. is not uh, a big deal. I, I, I'm fine, according to where the damage is. Um, the two that I got, the damage is on the back, so I'm not concerned about that. But, um, yeah, it's been a, you know, fairly decent day. And now we found ourselves on another side of town that we never come to. And we're across the street from a mall that um, me and David has never been to. And I haven't, yeah, I haven't been there in years. So we're gonna go over there. And then it's a Goodwill across the street. So of course we always got to pop into Goodwill. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, and it's supposed to be a Walgreens somewhere. I'm not seeing it right now, but I'm sure we'll find it. And we'll check out one more and maybe we'll find those uh, two horror pops. But um, yeah, we just wanted to say hi and let y'all know what's going on with us today. So, um, hopefully Black Knight will share his experience. He should do um, a video on that. I hope he does. Guys. And um, if he does, we'll let you know so we can shoot you over there and probably leave a link. Yeah. Um, but his story was very bad. Um, he went to Target. They found had all four. They, they had them and they would not let him buy them. Not all four of yeah. them. You can't buy You can't buy that many. But then I thought about it. I just thought about it today. If he had went to the self-checkout, he probably would have had a better a better deal but yeah. it's, it's still you shouldn't have to do that That's you should be able to walk yeah, up to any here, counter yeah. and uh, check out but he, it, it was a sad story um, really you know really pissed him off so I hope he does a video on it and um, man I just feel bad for him but um yeah so we'll be talking to you later Born free, South Pacific. Cowboys and Indians. Ansylvania. Some weird ones in here. Oh, puffin' stuff. Any Sid and Marty Croft fans out there? This is pre-puffin' uh, stuff Sid and Marty, isn't it? Because those look like claymation characters. Instead of live action. Chipmunk Rock. Oh my god. Oh, there's a Godzilla. Bandai. Godzilla hiding in the corner there. He doesn't want to stand up apparently. This. I actually remember this and when you squeeze it it's supposed to see that's cool I, I think I might have had that when I was a kid the sports collecting area starting lineup and bobbleheads and autograph balls and mini bats mini helmets the riddle Autograph mini helmets. My advice, and I know you don't have to agree with me, but personally, my advice stay away from the sports collecting. Like 80% of the sports autographs out there are counterfeit, and then figures, action figures, and figurines of sports characters, like all those bobbleheads and starting lineups and these statues, they tend to lose value very quickly and prints tend to lose value very quickly also. Although these are signed, hopefully they're certified. If they're not, nobody's gonna want them. It's a really, it's turned into a real ugly area of collecting. I mean, if you're into the sports collecting, it's cool, but I'm just saying, be careful, you know? You really gotta be careful now. I like the uh, brewer area, the brew collecting, that kind of stuff. I used to have a bunch of these signs back in the day. That's in really nice shape.
That's nice. Posters from out of a magazine, I imagine. Destro. <laughs> More comics that are buried under albums. I'm sure there's nothing in here. It's probably been picked over a hundred times. Dick Tracy. And Madonna as that character. Susie Moppet doll. You don't see that too often. It's really not worth anything, but you know. A and W cup. Oh yeah. That's cool. I would so get that if it wasn't seventy bucks. Yeah, now you're talking. Doesn't hurt to dig. Take a look down here. It's the Kenner Electronic Laser Shot Predator figure, and they got twelve ninety five on this. This is like a forty dollar figure. Look at the original price. Twenty four ninety five. But yeah, this is like a forty dollar action figure. I may get this. No, you know it never hurts to look around, does it? Some McFarland stuff. The rest of this doesn't look like anything. God, I remember these were everywhere. They were selling them three for five at KB Toy Stores back in the day. I actually had the entire collection. <laughs> it was cheap enough. Oh well. No, no. Not Star Wars. Star Ways. Star Ways. Somebody's got a lot of briar horses. Look at all those. And then a How the West was one lunchbox. And they got the thermos. They don't have the cup for the thermos, but they got the thermos anyway. That's pretty cool. Someone's whole collection of briar horses, I guess they just gave up. So cap pistol here, but it's got that big stupid orange tip on it. Look at this funky 60s mirror. Makes me think of Logan's Run. If you've never seen that film, you should. It's pretty cool. Now this is cool. This is the complete Jim Beam train decanter set on the tracks on that display. I wouldn't want her to put it on a shelf that high, but you know, it looks like it's alright. But it's the whole set and they're all empty Jim Beam decanters. That's pretty cool. It's uh, $350 for that one. Eight pieces plus the tracks. If you know, if you had like a man cave kind of thing going on, that'd be sort of cool, I think. Finally, the answers I've been looking for. How to master the video games. I don't collect these, but I always appreciate when I see something in this kind of condition. And this looks like an Ertl. It's a Rough Rider. Look at the paint. That is really clean. And the window's not all scratched up or cracked either. You often see them with the axles bent too. And then down here, they got a Tonka that's in the same condition. It's missing the cars out of the car carrier though, but really clean paint. Windows aren't all broken up. Tires aren't, you know, the axles and the tires aren't all bent up. That's in real nice shape. A picker in action at Value Village. He has gone through every record, every magazine, every book, and every DVD in the house and scanned it into his phone. He's got a nice little pile going there. Now the other guy got up and he sat down right in this place. They swapped out. I guess they're a team. A GameStop that actually 
specializes in toys. We've been in this one this before. This been in, and they always yeah. got a lot of stuff. See how far down it goes. Yeah, this is one of the bigger And stores. look what she's got. After four months. I know. Well, yeah, she had ordered it to be sent to the store, and the guy just kind of remembered. Yeah, when he saw me, like, yeah, we've been had it. But... And look what else has turned up here. Yay, the Super Deluxe. The super Deluxe. And, of course, uh, LPH has been wanting this. It's another $40, though. So. Yeah. Goodness. But yeah, there's a lot going on in this uh, in you this particular five one. Star. Yeah, five star. You got zero in there, but if you look at it like this, you can't see them. But if you turn it to the side, Where it opens. There's a flap. See. Oh, it, a, yeah. it? Oh, I didn't even know that. So that oh no, that see. makes it even cooler. I never knew that. Yeah, that's kind of okay. nice actually. Yeah, that I'm kind of. I mean, I like their five star, but you know, I, I just don't want to branch off into something else because no. that get that gets old after a while. But you can see they got a lot in this one. The Star Wars. I want to show this. What do you want to show? You see something down here? This is a line. Oh, yeah. Predator. Titans from figures. Titan. And um, I like this a lot better than the, um, the Funko. Funko. Yeah. So this line. And I looked up Titan and they don't. But they do make a lot of stuff. But. Really, nothing that I want, but they have four versions of the Predator, so I'm gonna get this line um, rather than the Funko because I like it. It's a mm -hmm. little more detailed, it costs a little more, but it's more detailed, and um, I think it just has a better look. So, that's an option for those that are looking for a new option, yeah. You see, this one also carries the Bandai figure arts. Mm -hmm. Naruto there. Yeah, this one's a, a lot more interesting than most. So a lot of uh, game stops are lame stops, as you've heard us say before. And you come in and they don't have nothing. <laughs> and this is the biggest uh, pop display we've seen in a game stop in a while. A lot of them are cut down to like a single lane. Something in the clearance? So he'd be half, I have this half one. that price. Mm -hmm. I have this. Just like I said, I know it's I need some more clearance. Yeah. Who's that? Ryan Pillman. I remember Pillman. Ten dollars. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We're in the big lots. Big lots has wrestling figures. Ten dollars. I guess that's the average price. Mm -hmm. And they have these like super cut down Star Wars figures that nobody wants. Six dollars is a bit much for that, I think. We got the airborne infantrymen. World peacekeepers. Yeah. Ninja Turtles, ten bucks. Deluxe size Star Wars. It's a little more interesting. Twenty. We got this Batmobile. Hey, Jurassic Park. And there we go. There we go. A lot of running around, but you know, it's That's fun it sometimes. It's fun sometimes. And I picked up in Walmart. Take a look at this. And you know, I don't get the nano figures, but this is a diorama for their Harry Potter nano figures. But I'm going to use it for something else because you can put mystery minis or whatever in here. It doesn't have to be Harry Potter, even though it came with two free figures. Ignore the price. These are $5 at Walmart right now. Mm -hmm. Five bucks for this. And the regular price is 20 um, Yeah, is. so that is. And they have the other ones too. Yeah, it's a nice diorama. So yeah. I was like, yeah, I can use that. That's pretty cool. And also the Queen's... Um, Antique Mall. Don't overlook antique malls. You know, I spent a lot of time in there. We did. We spent a lot of time in there. And antique malls are basically displays for most people for stuff they have no room for yeah, because definitely. they're expensive. They're yeah. expensive. But if you keep your eye open, you find stuff like this electronic sound predator, laser shot predator that I picked up. $13. This is like a $50 figure. 
And uh, it's kind of um, nostalgic in a way because you see all those figures that are pictured on the back. I once had two of each of these on the card in one loose. Mm -hmm. Everything that's here, Aliens and Predator, I had the whole Kenner line. Is and it in good more. shape? Yeah, it is. It's in pretty decent shape. So that was a really great find for $13. Cheaper even than the original retail price tag is still on at $24.95. Yeah. That was the original price tag. So that was really cool. Picked up from Target. What do you got down there? She's got a lot. <laughs> She's got a lot. Oh, yeah. I didn't see that. We have Diesel. Oops. I'm going to drop it. Diesel, who is, of course, Kevin Nash. And she had already the Roddy Piper and George the Animal Steel from this set. Mm -hmm. So she saw this at the Target and said, you know what? We can complete the set. May as well go ahead and wrap I can't that show up. all of it because I don't have all She doesn't of have access to the other two. And here's the Jake the Snake. Yeah. Jake the Snake Robert with his snakes. <laughs> Jake hasn't looked like that since the 80s. It's okay, though. Uh, but, yeah, she has these other two. My favorite from the set is George Animal Steel. I was yeah. always a big fan of George Animal Steel because that guy's crazy. Also coming out of Target. Bazooka Joe. Yes, indeed. The only one, as you saw, has a little bit of box damage, mm -hmm. which is probably why it was left behind. But she figured we can't. You know, people just not finding these. No. Almost nobody is finding these. And actually, uh, Black Knight 710 on Instagram, because yeah. I'm, I'm on Instagram, open by chance on Instagram. Black Knight 710, shout out to him also, because he has a channel where he does hunts and he does uh, reviews and stuff like that. Had a set. Yeah. He found a set at his target, and they would not let him buy them. They would not let him buy them. And he went on a, on a rant on on. Uh, Instagram at the time, and I'm not mad at them, and that is outrageous. Yeah, that is that outrageous. Was I'm annoying. sorry, you can't get those. What the hell? You know, <laughs> and I, I feel bad for him if I had an extra set. I just sent to him. I would if mine wasn't so damaged because <laughs> I found two, but they're both damaged. The Captain Crunch, and yeah. um, if they weren't because I, I really don't care for them, but because I saw it, I got it. Mm -hmm. But I'm all right not having it. This is what I want. This is what she really wanted. That's all I wanted. And it, it was also the only one in the store. Mm -hmm. The and only one we've seen. Shape. Yeah, and it's in good shape. It's yeah. not bent up, damaged, or anything. It's, just, it's in so nice I shape. Was, this um, one. I was happy about that. Uh, and that's all I wanted. And like I said, the Bazooka Joe was there. So I was like, well, if I can get it just going to the store not really looking for it, mm -hmm. I'll get it. But I'm not going to hunt it down and I'm not yeah. going to buy it aftermarket at all because, you know, I'm just I'm just kind of burnt out. Because the, the hunts are getting tedious. Yeah, they are. Even this was tedious and I was almost giving up because, um, you know, vinyl two-packs don't sell well. Yeah, And I was having a hard find time that. finding it. And there's a few other... Uh, pops out there that I'm a, I'm I'm really about to give up on because yeah. you know That's I can't and I'm kinda of tired of just going out and looking and going from store to store to store. And um so I don't know. Go ahead. I know how you feel. <laughs> I just it, it is. It gets tedious and it's you know you get to a point where the hunt's not fun anymore. Yeah. What do you do? Now this came from GameStop and yeah. this is Titans vinyl figures predator and it is the stcc one so yeah. the exclusive sticker yeah and i was going to get the um funko set yeah. but i'm really trying to get away from funko and if i can find something else that's comparable um i rather have that and to me this one has way more detail this one is articulated too you can pose it yeah he's a, a lot nicer he's slightly yeah. bigger now the cost is more but yeah. this one also um, keep in mind that this cost is related to the fact that it's an stcc right so the regular ones are not exactly that much yeah so it does cost a little more but i think it's a better figure uh it's better quality is way more detail, so I'm not gonna get the Funko Predator. I'm gonna just 
Yeah. Mm. Not get done at all. And the King Randall. Finally. Yeah. Because this was ordered from GameStop and it took him like, what, two months? Yeah. To get it in? From one store to the Transfer next. from one store to another within the Atlanta area. Yeah, it's only it's like, like 15 yeah, miles get away. Around to it. If I knew it was going to take that long, I would have got it myself. Yeah. But, Ridiculous. You know, whatever. Of it's course, funny. you realize that she is a big Masters fan. Do you have everybody on the back of it? Um, I think so. Let's see. You have Scareglow? No. That's the only one I don't have. Well, it's Scareglow, but everybody else. And it was two King Randors, and this is the one that I needed. Yeah, this is the one that's more like the um, not so much King Randor, but Captain of the Guard Randor, mm -hmm. as opposed to the King We Waves. Randor. And yes, I did it. I got well, there's a little bit of sticker residue on there, but we can wipe that off. The Mega It, which surfaced in GameStop. Yeah. Of course, a different GameStop. But now you have all three. We'll open that up there. I can't show all of them because one of They're them packed. is yeah. not here. <laughs> it's in storage. I will, I will show and uh, display all of them and compare them for you. But I think this one yeah. has the most heads. It does. And he's got a set of balloons behind him too. I don't think you can see the balloons that well. You can well. barely see. You can see it there behind him. I know it's a bit of glare. Yeah. You can see it in the picture he's holding them. But yeah, he's got a set of balloons. That was cool. Mm -hmm. And I like the Tim Curry uh, it. I like the Tim Curry one better than the new one. Not saying that the new one is bad at it, mm -hmm. because the new one he's really super creepy in it. Yeah. But and, but Tim Curry is creepy and funny. Yeah. <laughs> so, I like that guy. He's in a new show called Castle Rock. That's right. From another Stephen, Stephen King. King production. And um, I think he's doing an excellent job. Yeah. And he's ultra creepy in an there excellent too. job of basically doing nothing because I think he said twenty words in the whole. Yeah, sentence. he doesn't talk about, it, <laughs> but his presence is just like, yeah, he's what good. is this dude up to? And you can't figure him out yet. You don't know what he's about. In this hey, I just is realized you got a lot of stuff. <laughs> why do you, why do you get everything? Why do you? Because I I um, want stuff and I go. I have a problem. I have an addiction that needs to be final. Cured. Vinyl addiction. Yeah. Am crack I, addict. What do you call it? Vinyl crack? Uh, pla uh, plastic plastic crack. crack is the expression. It's a oh, documentary that's coming up about people who are addicted to buying toys. <laughs> but in our case, I guess this is more akin to vinyl crack. Vinyl and plastic. Mm -hmm. Does that make me an enabler? Yeah, because you be finding half of it. I can't resist And then it. buying it sometimes because I'll be like, no, I'm not going to get it. And then you go buy it. Yeah. Uh, I, I can't help it. I adore her. I want her to have nice things. She's uh, she's wonderful. She really is. We we are like bread and butter here. The yeah. Deluxe Jack. Yes. I, wanted, I just need one more for, well, sorry, two more for the um, uh, Nightmare Before Christmas set. The Diamond Jack. Mm -hmm. And also the Walgreens Devil. Yeah, which we haven't seen anything at Walgreens no. yet. So nothing. Yeah. And we've been to a I few Walgreens because we we had to do some um, traveling around, so we went to several yeah, different. Yeah, we Walgreens. did. We ended up with like a, like ten of them in the last couple of weeks. Yeah, and we haven't found anything, so that kind of sucks. You might could even uh, do a review on that one since the box isn't sealed on the uh, the, the deluxe vinyl. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess that's it. Yep. That's enough. No, no. That's a, that's that's a lot of stuff. Yeah. That's a lot of stuff. Remember that those, if you're interested in them and you don't just have to have them for, um, can you reach my thing there, my Harry Potter? You don't oh. just, yeah. You do. <laughs> technical difficulties. You don't just have to get them for nano figures because the size is comparable to 
using it with mystery minis or any other small figure. And there's not just this. They have also the cubed displays, the one that looks like, uh, you know, for DC characters and it's squares. And I had one once before I got on clearance at Target also for five. Mm -hmm. But Walmart is clearancing them out as well for five dollars. So I think that's a great little investment for if, you know, I don't care that that box is damaged because I'm going to actually use this. Mm -hmm. But uh, great for if you have like any kind of mystery minis or mini figures or any small action figures and you can build them into a nice diorama with these. It doesn't have to be Harry Potter. Just throwing that back out there. Yeah. So have you been shopping lately? Have you been out exploring and looking for great pickups in the wild? What have you found? Go ahead and tell us in the comment section down below. We'd like to hear about your hunts. Please give the video a thumbs up if you don't mind. Mm -hmm. uh, like, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And check out some of the other videos. If you're new to the channel, we do a lot more than just hunting videos. So take a look at what else we have. And check her out on Lady Pop Hunter. She has a separate channel where she does reviews of some of her personal items that she picks up on Lady Pop Hunter. So you can find her there. So is that it? You have yeah. Else to add? No. Okay. That's enough. Yeah. So <laughs> thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Everybody's job is important. Each and every one of us has a team.